I left last August 2017 to leave on my first plane to go to Oaxaca, Mexico. I remember that I could not wait to leave the place that I was at. And I don't feel that way anymore. I want to appreciate where my feet are right now and not where they're going to be. Next October, I am going to be going to Brisbane, Australia to do a music and arts mission school. I know God has so much for me there, but I also see all the beautiful places that he's brought me to here. And I just wanted to share that with you guys and share with you all of my places, all the places I go when I need a breather, just all my beautiful places. This is the abandoned parking lot behind my apartments and has this beautiful towering sign that has never said anything and always has these dead balloons hanging off the side. I've always loved this parking lot. It just has a bunch of broken bottles and mattresses and treasures hidden in it and these tiles in the back with beautiful flowers. I came here a lot when I first got to El Paso and I would just come here to think and to journal and to watch the sunsets and it was just my place. It always felt like it was waiting for me and it just felt like a little oasis from what I was going through. Believe it or not, at nighttime, this basketball court is one of the clearest places to stargaze. And I would just come here at nighttime and watch the stars and lay in the middle of the court. On my way back to the apartment, there's these beautiful flowers that bees and bugs are always just flying around. and. It was just beautiful, it was beautiful colors. This is my favorite building in El Paso. When I was riding home from the airport, I remember seeing this building and how much it looked like a San Francisco building. And little did I know, it was actually the first grocery store ever in El Paso. And it still is my favorite building. These are the grandfather trees. They always just look like they're watching over the street. And I would come to this park a lot to hammock or do yoga and read. And during golden hour, how the sun shines through the leaves that are almost touching the ground. I just, I've always loved this park and these trees. I've always had a thing for trains and railways and here I find a lot of awesome graffiti Union Pacific trains and late at night you can hear the horns roaring from halfway across the city and that's definitely one of my favorite things. Trans Mountain Road is right between the Franklin Mountains and the desert, and it is one of the most scenic drives. I come up to the scenic viewpoints to just watch the stars or watch the sunset, watch it rain. It just has always given me some perspective. 